Welcome my artistic friends of the interwebs. This is a request video from a fellow artist who was interested in uh, cold wax and oil. And there's a ton of really great videos regarding cold wax and oil. Uh, none of them are mine. <laughs> you know, I got introduced to cold wax uh, with the RNF pigment sticks. I don't remember um, who turned me on to it. I think I ran across the video and it showed, because I like to draw. Drawing is kind of my jam. And um, I ran across a video where uh, a fairly uh, accomplished artist was using a pigment stick. Let me show you. Let me take these out of the tube. Was using an RNF pigment stick. This is cobalt blue to draw with. And then he would fill in uh, with various colors, both uh, oil and oil and wax. And I was like, well, that's cool. So I ordered some. They're kind of expensive, though. I ain't going to lie to you. But uh, if you get past the money for these, they're really awesome. Um, now, then I took it to another level. Gamblin makes cold wax medium. And basically, it's, it's a wax. And by the way, I can't see what you can see, so hopefully this is right. Um, it's a wax with oil paint and some, um, I think, linseed oil. The wax is more or less a binder, and um, but it does give it a really interesting look. It's kind of a sheen, kind of a waxy. I dig it. Now, some people may not, but I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you a couple of things real quick. Um, and then probably my next video or the video after that, you'll actually see me using this stuff. As far as how you would um, mix your own, I've got a... a Master's Touch um, oil paint. It's uh, blue gray, and it's. I don't think this has ever been opened. It has not. So, take the tab off. Now, most oil paints, when you do it, will have um, oil up at the top. Usually, what I do is I kind of need need them. I do like the new the new tubes they put these in that are flexible, kind of almost a plasticky tube, um, kind of like what you'd get with your toothpaste. The old kind of like foil ones or metal ones, um, which I still have a bunch of, they're kind of a pain in the butt. Now, will this solve the problem? Probably not. It did a little bit, a little bit. And you can do that again. You can like knead it up, mix it up a little bit, I guess. Okay, so now, hopefully you can see this. I just don't know. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this color in there. The blue gray and now this by the way this mixing bowl uh, I got it at a thrift store for like 50 cents or a dollar or something like that I love these um, cheap bowls I go through them I you know if they get to the point where I can no longer clean them or no longer want to clean them I just throw them in the trash but yeah it's just an idea so now now I know it's not cobalt blue but what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this gambling wax. Now, depending, this is like a, it's almost like a beeswaxy type of thing. Depending on um, what you're looking to accomplish will depend on how much you're going to use. Most people will tell you not to go over 50% of uh, wax. So eyeball it, give it the evil eye. So you see, hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to take that much maybe not even that much you can always put more in you can't you can't really take out so okay so I'm gonna lay it up next to that squeeze off and that's what I've got probably about 30% wax to the oil so I get it in there and just mix it don't use your brush to do this by the way and just kind of like smash it around mix it around and you'll notice almost immediately how different the texture is and um it, it has just a different feel to it you'll either love it or you'll hate it <laughs> one of the two now a lot of people who use cold wax they um they don't paint on canvases like i do they paint on panels um which I really don't do. 
I don't have any issues or haven't had any issues painting on a, a canvas. Although some people say the flex of the canvas isn't um, really great to use with this. So, all right, so there you have the mixed up oil and wax, oil paint and wax. I want to take this tube out of here. Actually, you know what? This is this one's never been used. Let me find one that's been used. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Now, oh, by the way, you should know this. If if you're going to use these pigment sticks, like you would use um, any other mark making device, one thing you should know is that if the temperature, uh, and this is turquoise blue, if the temperature gets kind of warm out. This stuff here will literally just be soft. It, it will be really, really, really difficult to use. Um, as far as use with like this. Now, here's the thing about this medium. You can use it uh, as, you know, as a paint with a brush. You can use it uh, to mark with. But you can also take your brush and scrape on the end of this pigment stick and then use the brush. It, it, it's really a pretty, in my opinion, it's pretty amazing stuff. I don't use as much of it as I used to. Um, I kind of go back and forth with all kinds of stuff. Right now I'm on strict oil, but I'm going to do this next painting with uh, pigment uh, sticks, oil, uh, and cold wax. And I'll let you guys come along to check it out. So that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully this was somewhat informative. Like I said, there's a ton of really great videos out there on cold wax and oil. You may want to check out. It's kind of addictive. I ain't going to lie to you. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See ya!